That's some good brekkie. Um, brekkie, brekkie. Suck the self. It's about two o'clock now. Very late set off today. So basically last night I went to that festival, as you saw. Been rough today. Um, it's, it's 33 degrees today. It is so hot. Now um, I'm back in the city because the uh, festival was outside the city, and um, it's about an hour outside the city. So one of Steph's mates dropped me to to kind of the outskirts of Antwerp, and then I had to get a uh, tram in. And now I'm heading back to Steph's house because I got a key. Steph's somewhere else. He's gone off to see his sister, I think. So I'm going back to Steph's. So I need to sort my bike out and then got a ride. But I'm not gonna, probably not gonna do that many miles today. I only had like 30 miles planned, but I don't even think I can make 30 miles to be fair. So especially not in this heat. Anyway, let me see you lot when I get back to the house. On the city bike. Nah, I think this is actually too hot to uh, ride in. I don't really want to be. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might just try and find a campsite close by actually. And then camp up early. Right, I'm on my way out of Antwerp now. I just left Steph's house. We've got about 30 miles now, so I'm heading north out of Antwerp and I've got a campsite that I've booked in so I reckon I should get there probably about six or seven and then yeah very very hot today 32 degrees so oh gotta take it easy drink lots of water so this is actually my final day in Belgium I'm in I'll be crossing over the border into the Netherlands later probably in a couple of hours so uh, final country Near the end of the tour. There's this work. That's the building we were in yesterday. This is the port. Crossing the river now. Back on the railway track. This is a different cycle path now going north. It might even be part of the same system, I don't know actually. It's quite an efficient way of having a cycle path right next to the uh, train tracks. It's super straight and flat. Pretty dark clouds up ahead. They do not look good. So I'm expecting maybe it to rain at some point. It looks like a storm actually. I love these like tiny little village neighborhoods. Everything's so quiet and clean. Feels like I'm on a movie set. This is it, I'm officially in the Netherlands now. That's Belgium back there. That's the Netherlands in front of me. I'm a bit annoyed there wasn't a proper border sign. Looks more like a road sign. Anyway, we made it to the Netherlands. Woo! Look at these little guys.
Just arrived at the campsite. Desperately need some water, I'm very thirsty. I don't know where the taps are. I'm just waiting for the owner to come now. He's um, on his way, he told me to wait for him by reception. I'm all set up in my tent. It's absolutely boiling. It's like 30, it's like 31 degrees now and it's eight o'clock. It's going to be hot all night, I can tell. I'm pretty tired now. I'm going to cook up some pasta quickly and then uh, just lay down, relax for a bit. It's 8.30 now. Um, I slept all right last night. I'm in this campsite now, but um, it was really hot all the way through the night. It was like 33 degrees up until about 10 p.m. Yeah, it was really, really hot. There's a clock tower like just there in the village and it was chiming on the hour, every hour, <laughs> all the way through the night. I don't know how, like why that even happened, but it was so loud. I'm gonna do 45 miles today up and to Rotterdam. Um, it's gonna be another really hot day, but I was speaking to the campsite owner. So you can hear the, you can hear the, the chime. I was speaking to the owner and he was saying that there's like a yellow weather warning, which is like thunderstorms basically. So, I think at about four or five, it's the weather's gonna turn and it's gonna be thunder and rain. So we'll see how that plays out. I don't know how that's gonna be. I haven't had any luck with warm showers hosts in Rotterdam. No one's getting back to me. So I've, I've sent out a bunch more messages today just to see if anyone can host me tonight. Maybe tomorrow as well, cause I might stay there for two days. Um, just like explore the city. I'm not really in a rush. What a beautiful day today. So nice, it's hot. Just left the campsite, so 45 miles ahead of me. And yeah, let's go. through like an industrial district at the moment. Loads of warehouses all around me. I just stopped off and had a coffee. There wasn't really many shops because it's Sunday and there's not many shops open. But I found a petrol garage and they had a little coffee machine there. And it was like so nice and air conditioned inside. You could sit down in there. So I had my coffee in there. And now we're back on the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. So the road here is blocked off. So no road works, but I just saw a guy ride around the fence on his bike. And there's two people coming this way on bikes too, so I think I'm just gonna go around it. I went round the fence because this road is closed. There's literally no cars. It's so nice. just stopped in this little village called Zevenbergen. I've done about 15 miles. There's a little ice cream shop over there, so I got some ice cream. I got a banana chocolate and pistachio. I haven't had ice cream in so long. <laughs> That's been nice. Nice riding, it's pretty hot. So I've got a pretty big um, river crossing coming up which is the Holland's Deep River, I think that's what it's called. And that's when I'll cross over into South Holland. But on the map, it says on my route, there might be a ferry crossing. But I looked at the map and there's a bridge, so um, I'm not sure what's gonna happen there. Might have to hop on a ferry and uh, yeah, do that. Otherwise, I'm just 
describe the bridge, if there is one. Um, I'm not sure, there could be a bridge just for cars and then cyclists can't use that bridge, but yeah, I guess we'll just have to wait and see when I get there. literally pylons as far as the eye can see. The bat box on every tree, every other tree. There's loads of them. I was getting a bit worried there because I was going through this really, really small, quiet village called Mordjig or something like that. And um, there was no people and there were no cars. I was like, if this is meant to be going, if this is meant to be the way to go across the main river, where's all the cars and stuff? I was like, no, it's better not lead me to dead end. But looks like I can see the bridge ahead of me. This is the river and that's the bridge I've got to go over. I'm just come down to the water and have a look. I just bumped into these two guys, they're from England. What are your names? David. David and Tommy. David and Tommy, so they're on a fishing trip. I'm in Delta. Hey! <laughs> yeah, these guys are on a fishing trip and they're uh, Staying here underneath the fucking motorway. So, did not expect to like bump into any British people out here. It's quite funny. But, um, I'm just gonna have a little chill here for a second and then head over this bridge, I think. Can I get over this bridge on the bike? I better be able to, because otherwise there's no other way. People cycling. Yeah. left them boys now they they came up here on a fishing trip so they're gonna be like local fishing around here from the UK yeah heading across the bridge gonna be in South Holland in a sec hello 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 hello, hello. 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 <laughs> so confusing because there's so many different like directions you can go like there's little like canal ways and bridges and cycle paths and roads crisscrossing it's so confusing i keep like getting lost the route is taking me like this like wiggly 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 all the way so i'm pretty i'm hungry now so i need to find somewhere to stop and like have some food because i've been cycling for a, for a while now and i've only eaten um oats this morning and then the ice cream so definitely need some food can't wait to get out of this bloody maze it's like spaghetti junction it's just so many crisscrossing roads and like cycle paths it's just a big industrial like area there's no one around oh man i want to get back into the little country lanes and the villages hopefully some of those will be coming up soon I want to find a, a nice place to stop, but I don't want to stop on any random bench because I know what will happen. I'll stop on a shitty bench and then one minute later, there'll be a really nice place to stop. So I'm going to hold out. So that sign says Rotterdam's only 10K away. So I'm well close, probably like half an hour, if that. So I'm just going to power through and um, I'll eat when I get there. Maybe have a look, see if there's any campsites around. turned off that cycle path because it was basically just following the motorway 
and uh, I was getting tired man, I wanted to go, there was like a turning left, so it looks like I'm going through some sort of neighbourhood, um, like in the south of Rotterdam. I was going to have some food but then I realised I've got no water, so if I have food I'm going to be thirsty after that. I need to wait until I can find some water from somewhere. Pulling up on the city now, pretty much near the centre. So, it shouldn't be too long. There's a campsite in the middle of the city, so I'm gonna head there. Hopefully, they've got room for me. Rain is about to come down. There's a thunderstorm literally right there. The city's right behind me. I've got to go across here. See that lightning. stuck in it. That's bad. I'm underneath this petrol station now. I'm gonna wait for it to pass over. It's way too heavy to be riding. I'm gonna be absolutely drenched. Really pretty wet. Trying to make a break for it and now I'm um, absolutely drenched. Maybe cover under this little a bit here. I need to kind of wait for it to stop this is way too hard. The storm's kind of just passed over now. It's weird because it's still really hot. What a damn city baby! It's about 8.30 now, I've been chilling for quite a while. Just been pretty tired, I've been laying down in the tent and um, just been editing uh, some of the videos. Just going over to the reception now because I need to put my battery pack on charge. And there's a place for me to charge in the reception. It might be locked though, I need to, need to check. If it's locked, that'll be a bit long. Yeah, it's locked. <laughs> uh, I won't be able to charge my battery pack. I should have enough charge on my on one of them. I've got two. Should have enough charge on one of them to get me to Amsterdam. I've been messaging some warm shower hosts because I've got a few days now until I'm meeting a friend. I've got a friend, uh, Rihanna, she's come to meet me in Amsterdam on the 13th, which is a Thursday. I've got a campsite booked for the 12th, but for tomorrow, Monday and Tuesday, I've got nowhere to stay, so it'd be good if I could stay with her. It'd be good if I could stay with a warm shower host. And then uh, I'll get bed and like shower and all that good stuff. My shoes got absolutely soaked because I got caught in that shower earlier and it was heavy rain. So my shoes are currently very wet. Yeah, it's horrible. So they need to dry, I need them to dry. So hopefully, uh, yeah, they might have a um, hair dryer in there in the toilet right there but I don't know oh that guy's got a hairdryer oh maybe I can borrow a hairdryer from someone but I need my shoes to dry otherwise I'm gonna have wet feet <laughs> and that guy thought I was filming him but I'm filming myself um anyway yeah I need my shoes to dry because I've got a, I don't want to be riding with wet feet tomorrow just had to make a quick snack run because we've been on the bike without any bags so far, it's like zippy. Um, right, plan is to go shower, I haven't showered yet. I need to shower and then I'll probably just eat some snacks and go to bed. <laughs> I'm pretty tired man, today was quite long. 10 hours on the bike today, pretty long one. And tomorrow I think I've got 50 miles to do, so might end up being a bit longer. So I'm gonna have to be up early, I'm gonna have to leave early. <laughs> 